Hi there. So how to make this effect when, with Houdini? Change car color, change form, transition effects. So here's how I made this. Uh, initial geometry. Right, apply some attributes here with zero value then to our transition geometry apply the same attribute with value of one uh, for mask one mask two uh, it's depending on how much time you want to change the color if you want to change this one so mask one uh, mask two mask three I want to change it a couple times so I created two mask and uh, wave attribute for the uh, to create uh, this transition effect on geometry Merge them together transfer to our geometry so this is a uh, Let's say mask attribute. <coughs> then we'll use solver, copy this parameter and uh, paste it here with this uh, expression. And then this simple uh, vex code here. So we just uh, compare it, prepare it, uh, previous frame and current frame. And then if uh, the value is uh, uh, less than pre in the previous frame, then we just uh, Override this and it gives us uh, this effect. So, uh, grow attribute effect, leave attribute on our geometry. So, the next one is just a little bit blur attribute, so it will not be so strong. Line here. <coughs> the next one is um, I just uh, increase uh, wave so if we just see wave here uh, after blur it looks not so uh, not, not enough value so I just increase uh, a little bit uh, then I um, have more complex, complex geometry here uh, that I made before and then I just transfer these attributes to my geometry then I apply normal to primitive and uh, apply connectivity uh, node and then I just pack every single pieces of my geometry so here I extract and draw it here and I transfer the normals from my centroid to my uh, packed geometry uh, then I just uh, add normal to position apply it to wave attribute made some uh, controller here multiply controller to increase or decrease my uh, uh, my position and then I apply it to CD so uh, the letters are not transformed and it's some random position here so, uh, then uh, I use primitive node to uh, with uh, centroid 
for each pieces to transform it some some ways that I like, you know. I change some scale, change some um, rotations here, and then I uh, promote, uh, change the. Create some two vector attributes for the my mask. So Redshift will uh, read the vector attribute from flow, but not flow attributes here. Ian uh, and I unpacked geometry here and uh, compute some velocity here. So then I just merge all this stuff together and uh, I also have inside uh, um, inside geometry of this pillow so I have this effect and just uh, write it, all this to the disk Okay, seems like everything looks like looks right. And then I just made some materials here, uh, some blend materials, um, and uh, blend them they by attributes. So the first is uh, logo just black material some kind like rubber something like that and then cover one with first color and uh, we blend it by the color CD so this color we have uh, on our initial geometry here uh, so uh, here we have color and we blend this two material by this color and then we just add another one color with uh, uh, some kind of like green green material so we blend it by the uh, this parameter here so we have this mask V attributes here and we multiply this by the color so the uh, this letter is left black but uh, other color comes to green comes to second material okay if you don't want to uh, letter transform you can just uh, multiply this uh, by the color so it, uh, the letters will will not be scaled okay and then I uh, just add another one color with some properties and blend it with mask v attribute multiplied by color so color will be uh, this material and uh, we have third material so something like that i hope it will help it will be helpful for you and thank you